Hello, my name is Yuri Taktev. I'm the CTO of Drengel.io. We are a consulting company uh, based out of Toronto. We do application development. Uh, so I want, I want to say a few words about both us and uh, how happy we are to actually be here back as a Diamond Plus sponsor and uh, a few words about our take on JavaScript. So we are a consulting a company based out of Toronto. We uh, have been operating for a little over three years. We've done 60 plus projects. We are a little over 100 people now. We focus on JavaScript fairly narrowly. Uh, and really, in, over the last three years, we were guided, however, by three things. One of them has been JavaScript, as I mentioned. The second one has been focus on community. And the third one was focus on continuous delivery. Oh, the continuous delivery part didn't fit. So let me say a few words about first JavaScript. So I don't know if you guys heard of JavaScript here. No, so I don't think I need to do much work here to sell this group here on what an exciting uh, technology JavaScript is. Now, in our case, we've actually been a JavaScript-only firm from the very beginning. Uh, everything we do is JavaScript. All of our developers are JavaScript developers. We've been doing JavaScript on the front end, on the back end, uh, on mobile. And when we started three years ago, this actually we sort of had to explain to people a little bit about like why would you want to focus on niche technology like that. And of course, now no one asks that question. It's, it's really been exciting how much have changed in that um, ecosystem over the last three years, and we are super excited to be part of that community. Now, the second thing that's, that's been our kind of guiding principle is focus on community. And uh, one of the best things I think about JavaScript has been the community that has coalesced around. It just has been an amazing amount of talent. Uh, and sort of great things have been coming out of that talent. So in our case, we've been really trying to focus from the very beginning, from the early, early days of the company when we were like just a couple of people on, first of all, uh, first meetups and other sort of local events. And as we grew up a little bit and have a little bit more resources, we've been uh, investing a lot, of, uh, a lot into conferences like this. So we're really happy to to be able to contribute to community on that front. We have also been uh, actively using and contributing to open source. Everything that we do that's not for specific clients is open source. One of the things that we've done is because we need to start new projects really quickly, uh, we have actually invested quite a bit into building out startup projects in particular for React. Oh, in particular for React so that you could actually get started with all of the sort of best practices really early. So just Google uh, Wrangle React, uh, React Starter and you will find some uh, great place to get started for a new uh, kind of production scale uh, React project. And finally, the last thing I want to sort of talk about is our third area of focus, which has been continuous delivery. Now, by continuous delivery, of course, I mean the idea of building applications so that you're delivering value to your users in small increments ideally on a weekly basis or even daily basis. That's sort of really the kind of what, what we really shoot for is where, you know, every day there is something that you could actually uh, see with, uh, you know, and, and, and use. And this requires a few things. This requires a combination of sort of an agile project management approach. In our case, we use Scrum. It requires best practices along the lines of unit tests, proper reviews of pull, uh, of pull requests, um, you know, things like that. It also requires a, a, the right way of integrating with uh, things like uh, user experience. So in our case, we mostly focus on, on Lean UX. Now, you may ask, what does that have to do with JavaScript? And the answer to this is sort of nothing and everything. And it's nothing in the sense that, well, you could definitely write JavaScript as if continuous delivery wasn't a thing. Uh, you could plan your JavaScript project for a month ahead and then start working on it, never showing it to users, writing buggy code, having no idea how buggy it is because there's no users that actually get to see it, then start missing deadlines after deadlines, working weekends and evenings, programming JavaScript. You could, you could even do all of this with React, probably even with Redux, right? So it's all possible with JavaScript. But it would be such a waste, right? And that's why we also feel that in many ways JavaScript has everything to do with continuous delivery. And the reason for this in our view is because in the, what we've seen in the recent years is there's been a lot of companies that have been actually looking to rewrite a lot of the applications uh, using uh, either moving from sort of HTML generation kind of technologies like PHP or Java uh, to modern JavaScript, or maybe moving from earlier uh, JavaScript stacks to modern JavaScript. And as they've been making this investment, a lot of them have had this appetite for actually, while they're at it, try to do things a little bit better. 
And we definitely see this uh, with a lot of our clients who really come to us and saying, well, we want to switch to more than JavaScript. And while we're switching to more, more than JavaScript, we also want to adopt those uh, better processes. And of course, the, the JavaScript community has actually been great uh, for this because one of the things that has happened is that because there has been so much um, happening in that space, there has been so many uh, almost greenfield rewrite projects that this community has really had a chance to invest and uh, learn a lot about how to deliver JavaScript projects through continuous delivery. And in, for us, it's been very exciting to both be learning from the community on that front and uh, to contribute to that. So with, um, with all of that said, let's talk. Um, talk to us on Twitter, uh, read our blog, Google Wrangle Training. We, we do, as I mentioned, training uh, all over the world now. So, and thank you very much and enjoy the conference.